I don't know what that was doing. Let me get that. Okay, our recording started. Today we get to hear from Stuart Rosenberg. Stu is a, a wonderful and exciting guy to be around. I, I don't recall ever seeing Stuart without a smile. He's just a ball of fire and energy. He's great to learn from. I enjoy the presentations, the trainings that he's given in the past. And I think one of the reasons that he smiles so broadly is I've met his family. Tanya and the girls are just such successful and wonderful, friendly people with as much personality as Stuart. Uh, how could they not have? At any rate, Stuart, we're excited to meet you better this morning and hear from your, get your training and hear from you, sir. Good morning. Can you hear me? I can. I'm making you the host right now. Well, I just want to thank you, and I really do appreciate it. And it's always wonderful seeing you each week uh, at all the different events. I thought the event that we just had uh, this weekend was just amazing, over the top. It was just such something to be proud of, that we're part of such a great team. Um, so uh, just to even touch base on that, guys, we just came out of an incredible weekend, uh, an incredible um, you know, week. You know, we built toward uh, regionals, and if nothing less, the whole idea is to inspire and motivate each of us uh, for ourselves and for our team members and for, and for real estate and business and all that stuff. And we really rocked it. Um, you know, we, we, go, we, we go each week to help build our business and make money. I mean, obviously, that's important. You want to take care of you and your family. You want to, you know, move forward and, of course, build your, your empire, which is your real estate. And so I'm going to be talking about both sides, marketing and real estate. Uh, but what, what this weekend did or what the week did was just phenomenal to give us the fuel to carry on. To, you know, I find that when we're running our own businesses and when we're, on a, we're out there in the world trying to um, accomplish things, uh, you know, it, it, can, it can be difficult. And the reason being is because you're there by yourself doing something. You're not going to a job, clocking in and uh, working in, a, in, in an office setting or working part of a, a company and having to report to, uh, the, you know, each Monday or whatever it is to the powers that be. You're actually taking that responsibility and, uh, and taking care of yourself. And so these things are so important, what we do every morning, the impact meetings with Scott Rowe and our master, this, what I'm on right now, our morning calls, uh, and every, all the different events, we all need to be part of that because that's the way you tap in, you stay tapped in and you, you stay motivated and you keep getting inspired. So for me, uh, it was just such an incredible, uh, you know, experience because, you know, all of us, it doesn't matter how successful you are or not, you're going to have some lulls. You're going to have some uh, questioning, you know, um, of yourself. And that's why it is so, so important to be around each other, you know, to hear the stories and the different things people are doing. Um, you know, when I open up Group Me and I get to read it, I don't always comment on it, but I look and I listen to the chatter and the conversation. It's pretty amazing. Uh, and, you know, uh, motivating to see people are trying to do deals, uh, people are raising capital, people are, uh, you know, finding a deal or wanting to partner with one another. And it, it's nice that they're out there, they're making things happen, or they're trying to take charge and, and do things. So I just thought, you know, sh sh you know, looking back at this week and what we just went through, you know, the, the experience that I had was just so, I guess, or inspiring. You know, we went on Friday and we had a full day of training and to hear people like Nate and uh, Christian Sadler and different people coming up and, and, you know, Ryan Black in the beginning and just talking about their experiences and, um, and bringing it into the fold of what we do. Uh, it's just so amazing. They're sharing their business, their successes uh, with us so that we can go and do the same thing and up our game and, uh, and have successes. You know, what company can you go to? Where could you go where you can learn from other people's successes and have it shared? 
so that you can go and um, you know learn from them and move and move forward and do it for yourself. You don't usually get that. It's very uh, competitive. People are not just going to sh uh, share that kind of stuff with people. Even me, I, I have an entertainment company. We've done it for many, many years. And of course, yes, we're part of associations and you talk about things that we're doing to some extent, but you're not out there sharing your secrets and, um, and the things that you're doing to have accomplishments uh, and, and, and successes. But here we all do that. We share that with people and openly. And it's just pretty amazing that we're able to do that, to have people that are making six figures and moving into seven figure income and doing incredible things on the real estate side and to be able to uh, get insight into what those people are doing. Wow, it's just amazing. So I just have to say that, you know, coming uh, through Friday and listening to each person talk just got me so excited and uh, motivated and inspired. Uh, and then, you know, leading into Friday evening, the awards banquet, wow. I mean, honestly, that just blew my mind. You know, coming into, an, you know, coming into that setting, it was elegant, it was sophisticated, it, was, um, it showed success. We had beautiful cars in the lobbies, we had music, we had all kinds of incredible, um, you know, activities going on, such as uh, the stilt walkers. And it really was just something to be proud of, that we all are growing as a team, as a community, and we've, we've built something that, that is just so, um, you know, it represents who we are, what we're looking to do. And to have the people in charge, like the executive team, and of course I'm on the lit team, but the lit team and the volunteer army that we have and everybody that's slowly, uh, you know, moving into, uh, into leadership more and more to know that we have some sort of direction and, uh, well, not some sort of, we have direction and, uh, getting a little bit of more clear on what we're looking to accomplish to become, uh, or each and every one of us to become successful and to have the ability to rise. You know, I love that saying, um, rising tides raises all ships. You know, that's what's going on. We're all across the nation as part of this community and not just our community, all different communities, all different teams. We're all setting examples for one another and we're inspiring one another. They're causing us, you know, competition, friendly competition that's healthy and causing us to want to do better for ourselves, for our family, for our, for our community and so forth. So uh, I uh, was looking up uh, something that I figured I'll just go over a little bit on clarity. You know, why it's important uh, to have clarity in what you're looking to do. So, and you know, for you individually and for, for you as you build your team and for us as a community uh, and for our team Elevate, we need to, ha you know, having an understanding of what you're looking to do, what you're looking to accomplish so that you can focus on that and actually uh, achieve that. So basically focus is not something that comes naturally. It is a skill that must be developed. And before you can begin developing focus as a skill, you first must be clear on what you need to focus upon. So when I say that, you have, to dis you have to understand what you're looking to accomplish for you, for your family, personally, um, for, for the team and the community. And once we get clear and we're all working in unison together, we all go faster and uh, we are able to achieve so much more. So what is, it, what is it you really want? What do you want professionally? What do you want personally for your family? And what is the vision for your life? Knowing this gives you clarity. Um, a wise man, you know, once said, which is uh, Mr. Raul Campos, he said, you know, funny thing happens when you make money and you don't have to worry so much about bills. Uh, clarity sets in. And I love that because I thought about that. I was like, wow, that's so true. When you're out there working every day, uh, trading your time for money, uh, maybe basically a W-2 uh, setting, you know, you're giving up a lot of your time and struggling to make enough money to pay your bills. A lot of people run out of a uh, check before they run out of uh, the month. And it's hard. It's hard to stay focused. It's hard to be clear because you're, you're in survival mode. Now, some people, you know, that's not as much of a problem. So that's a good thing. 
because you can focus more more time on what it is that you need to do and you already um, don't have that the pressures and the stress of getting through the month so it's really really important uh, to create clarity and to do that you got to have a, a focus and understanding where you're looking to go so from a leadership's perspective clarity means having an unfettered view of your vision which is what you want and why you want it and why you want it so fed by an understanding of, a, of its purpose and value. So when people understand the why of things, meaning the purpose and the value, the combination produces a level of clarity that has enough influence or pull to actually become motivational. It becomes the fuel of a voluntary change that enables you to be pulled toward your vision rather than be pushed. And so that's what we all want. And that's what we're all here. We're all you know, um, working toward a vision. Uh, we all, once again, I hear stories of people doing deals and I hear um, how they've, uh, you know, some of the backstory and what they're doing and, uh, the, and some of the struggles, which is also part of the growth. And it makes me proud, you know, to be able to be exposed to that. You know, we go on weekends and we, we see uh, real deal house tours and we get to go to a real uh, investors house in our community who's nice enough to open up their doors to us so their house to us the investment property so we can learn you know it's a support workshop and uh, I love that I mean because that's what we're about we're about real estate uh, and I mean obviously we're not just about real estate we're about uh, marketing and real estate but you we have the best of both worlds we have the uh, we have a way to make money uh, on our marketing side so that we can help fuel our real estate or help focus more on real estate. I love that. I tell people there's two sides to what we do. One side is learning to invest in real estate and building an investment portfolio, you know, a multi-million dollar investment portfolio. And I said, it's doable for everybody, anybody and everybody. But then of course I go into the side where we actually do marketing. And I say, the reason why we do that is like a match made in heaven. You know, the money that we make from the marketing side, which is extremely generous, we could pump into our real estate and we can accelerate our portfolio, helping us get where we want to get go faster. Um, it's nice to know that you can have a six figure business on the marketing side while you're building uh, an empire, you know, building a portfolio of investments that will, you know, basically be with you for life. You know, having buy and holds, uh, that's you know, basically our little retirement accounts, single family homes are each or separate individual retirement accounts that is going to take care of us and our family, um, you know, from this point on forever, because real estate always goes up. It's not going to go away. And it, as the real estate is paid off, you're going to have people paying, uh, you know, giving us cash flow every single week. And all we have to do is just maintain it and keep it going. So um, that on the, on the real estate side, there's just so many options and there's so many people doing so many different things and we're learning from one another and just really so cool. Aside from the education, which is just phenomenal. And we, you know, right now this morning, we're doing a live, uh, there's a live education going on yesterday and today. And um, we have all of this available to us combined with our community and individual people doing deals and we're all learning from one another. It's just amazing. It really is just an incredible uh, experience. And then, of course, getting into the marketing side, having the ability to build a team, you know, if you choose to. And uh, that's, that's why we have such a, a great support with, uh, with all, the, all the events that help us, uh, you know, close and invite people down. I mean, you do realize you're not, you're not by yourself. You don't have to worry about, meeting people one-on-one, -on -one, which don't get me wrong, you should learn how to do that. You need to get very good at, um, you know, following through with people, you know, find the people, tell the story, build for events, follow up and, uh, you know, close. Uh, but while you are doing that, which could take some time, you'll be developing that skill set. Uh, you have a place to bring people so that it can be done for you or really with you. Uh, it, it, it's nice to know that we're constantly... Uh, evolving and growing and creating better events and a better event experience 
so that when we bring people down to, let's say, a Thursday night, you could feel proud that they're going into an epic and they're going to learn some serious stuff that's going to blow their mind to get them to start thinking, wow, this is something I want to do. This is something I want to learn about. And they want to move forward and get involved. You know, the fact that uh, we have events to support that in multiple ways. You have a Thursday night follow-up. Uh, we have Friday night follow-ups. And you could do individual one-on-one -on -one follow-ups. Uh, it's just amazing. We're part of something that's just really uh, unique and really incredible. And aside from that, the people that we're, we're uh, growing together, it's just nice to know that we have really, really cool people that all have their own backstory, own, their own lives, that all come into the fold and we all um, are part of each other's lives. We're on this journey together. And I love it. You know, we just had all these people come in from out of state to experience, you know, from other teams to experience what we're doing. And they're just blown away. You know, I'm blown away. So obviously they're outside looking in and they're going, wow, you know, I want to be part of this community. I want to be part of, um, you know, gets them going. They go back and they can take with them the experience that they had here in Utah and bring it home to their own teams and start building. So that's what these, um, these events that we do throughout the weeks, throughout the months, throughout the years, including, you know, well, of course, the regionals and including nationals. All of these things are, help, are here to help develop our skill set, to create more success for ourselves, to help develop teams if you're doing the marketing side and apply that toward real estate and go out there and really do real estate. Um, we, have, uh, we had a nice event last night where we had a barbecue or a little dinner get together it started because we have some people that are in from uh, out of state and they're staying at one of our rental properties and they asked if they could, you know, maybe we can get together and have maybe a dinner because we've done that in the past. Said, yeah, and then it just started to evolve into, um, you know, having some people, more people come over and it became a really, really nice event. And I was thinking about this. Wow, isn't this cool? We have all these new people that are in our lives. We're blessed to have all these people in our lives that came from out of state all over the place, from Maine and from California and other areas of the, of the country. And we all came together to enjoy each other's company, talk business, uh, talk personal, uh, talk about our kids, um, you know, just, just enjoy each other's company. And what a great, what a great community. What a great, um, uh, what a great thing that we're part of. So basically clarity, going back to that, clarity is so important to get focused and to understand that what you're looking to achieve. So let's bounce over to the marketing side. You need to get clear on what you're looking to do. If you're looking to accomplish, let's say, you know, 3,000 a month, 10,000 a month, 20,000 a month, whatever it is you're looking to do, you need to start to think, how am I going to achieve that? Well, you really got to go into the go go back further and start to think, what do I need to do to help, um, you know, make that kind of money? And so, what what's going to happen is you're going to start to say, you know what, I got to develop my skill set. I need to I step, need to up, step and up and maybe, and maybe I need to I step need up to step and maybe do some uh, get more involved with presenting, and uh, you know, rehearse, put a PowerPoint together for yourself, uh, practice it over and over again. And go to the events and take notes on what some of the people are doing and look at the things that are really working and the things that, um, you know, resonate with you and pull that into your presentation. But in the meantime, you're going to also need to advertise market and figure out a way to generate leads because that's the most important thing. If you don't have leads, you're not going to be able to invite. If you can't invite, you're not going to be able to uh, have people come down and go, wow, I want to get started. So you've got to figure out if I want to make, let's just say $10,000 a month, what is it going to take? Well, I'm going to need to start generating leads, multiple lead generation. I'm going to have to start really focusing on bringing people down. Uh, and so you may, that may look like inviting at least 100 people down a week. Uh, and out of 100 people a week, you know that maybe half of those people, depending on your skill set and how you know, how good you are, uh, maybe half of those people won't do anything. And the other 50 people may, uh, maybe out of those 50 people, after having conversations with them on the phone, 
you may get a certain percentage of those people that are actually going to show up to, let's say, an epic. And then out of all those people that are going to show up to the epic, you might have maybe 50% of those people uh, want to, you know, uh, show interest in coming to the follow-up. So out of the 50, you got 25. And let's say out of the 25, um, let's say, you know, 10 people actually show up. And so at the follow-up, you got people that are really interested. And at that point, um, you're going to be working with those people. But let's just say it's chiseled down to maybe one, two, or three people that decide to purchase. That's the way it works. You need to understand that you got to invite these people and you got to be consistent. Inviting people down and uh, knowing that you, as, out of those people, a percentage of those are going to follow through to a follow-up and other events till they finally get a certain percentage of those that are going to actually translate into a sale. But if you're consistent and persistent and you continually do that each week, you're, you're going to see results and eventually you're going to start to hit those numbers that you want, you're hitting that five or 10 or 20,000 a month. So you'll, you got to get clear on what it is that you need to do. And that's what you got to do. You got to figure out how many people it's going to take to invite, and how, how many people it's going to take to convert and then work backwards. So this way you know exactly what you need to accomplish to get the results that you want on the marketing side, okay? On the real estate side, because I love real estate, it's nice to talk about real estate, the same thing. Some people are already doing real estate. Other people are just learning and they want to get started. And other people are right now actively looking to do deals and they just are waiting, not waiting, but really uh, you know, moving forward in the effort uh, to uh, find a, a property. And so you have to, obviously you're studying and you're going to have to learn, but don't overwhelm yourself by looking at all the different strategies. Focus on one thing that's in line with what you want to do. So if it's a fix and flip, you know, you're going to focus on that. Uh, you know, really, really focus on what has to be done uh, run your numbers. Numbers are extremely important. I actually create, created my own formula, but each of us have learned different formulas and you have to understand your criteria. What is it that you're looking to do, uh, meaning work with? Are you looking to work with homes that are above 300,000? Are, are you comfortable working with homes that are below 300,000? You know, John said something that was really interesting. He said he... Um, put the word out to uh, some real estate, real estate agents that if you could bring me a house that is, uh, that comps out no more than 350,000 and uh, I could pick it up for about 250 or a little less, uh, that's something that will fall into his criteria. And that's something he will take a serious look at and probably move forward. Of course, it depends on the rehab. So, you know, it's gotta be a three bedroom, two bath, um, uh, you know, a certain square footage, but that's what he's looking for. He's not looking at anything above that. And um, those are the things that are going to work for him. So if you get clear on what it is that you're looking for, you you want a three, two, or if you want a three, one with the ability to add uh, a second bed, a second bathroom, that is a, a very doable thing. You may specifically want specific areas in Utah. You may be looking in, you know, the Ogden area, some people are really building that area. They want to focus, get to know that area and the price per square foot and, uh, and what had the days on market and, and the kinds of homes that are selling pretty fast and uh, focus your energies on that. So with that said, I know I've been all over the place. We talked about marketing. We talked about the regionals and the different events and, uh, of course, real estate. But I just wanted to just cover a little bit of everything on this call I, uh, I think the time's up at this point. So I wanted to say thank you. I really do appreciate you guys inviting me to come up, come out, come out here and talk. And I'm looking forward to doing it again. And uh, you guys go out there and just have an amazing day and build your business. Be enthusiastic. It's good to be excited, but you want to stay enthousi enthusiastic. And um, it translates into uh, dollars and success. So go out there and just in, and have a great day, okay? Great job, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you, Stuart. You're amazing. You, you, are, you are welcome, guys, and thank you.